Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, and cling to the fountain of mercy, blind to the radiance of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, Wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, May I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please stand. Consider the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need. Here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Jesus' seemingly harsh condemnation of certain religious teachers and their practices tells us that following Him entails humble service and not receiving entitlements. Titles are good as long as they remind us and lead us to God's presence. Do we give more importance to honors than service? Are we willing to give up certain privileges for the sake of serving God and our neighbor? Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through, through my, my fault, fault, through, through my, my fault, through, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask the Blessed, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, Ever all, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and, and sisters, to, to pray, pray for, for me to the, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord 
of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, have mercy on us. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. On earth, be the people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You will see. At the right hand, the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. On earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift you your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Lord warns the religious leaders of Israel of his anger because they teach in the name of the Lord, yet 
they do not keep his ways. A reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. A great king am I, says the Lord of hosts, and my name will be feared among the nations. And now, O priests, this commandment is for you. If you do not listen, if you do not lay it to heart, to give glory to my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will send a curse upon you, and of your blessing I will make a curse. You have turned aside from the way, and have caused many to falter by your instruction. You have made void the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. I, therefore, have made you contemptible and have based before all the people, since you do not keep my ways, but show partiality in your decisions. Have we not all the one Father? Has not the one God created us? Why then do we break faith? with one another. Why then do we break faith with one another, violating the covenant of our fathers? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a wind child, like a wind child. On his mother's love, so is my soul within me. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In the Apostle Paul, we find the model of a true Christian teacher. Like a loving parent to his converts, he teaches them the gospel and works that he may not burden them with his needs. The reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we are gentle among you as a nursing mother cares for her children. With such affection for you, we were determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our very selves as well. So dearly beloved, have you become to us? You recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery, working night and day in order not to burden any of you. We proclaim to you the gospel of God. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you receive not in a human world, but it is truly is the word of God, which is now at work in you who believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah, 
Father in heaven and one master, the Christ. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his, and to his people, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens and hard to carry, and lay them on people's shoulder, but they will not leave a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ayan, pakibati din po yung mga katabi natin. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, good morning. Ayan. Isang araw ay may reunion kaming magkaklasmate nung elementary at Hindi may iwasan na may kwentong, may konting kwentuhan, may kwentong tawanan, may konting inuman, may kwentong asaran, at nung medyo tamado na, may kwentong debatean. No? Isa sa mga classmate ko nung elementary, sa ibang pananampalataya, ay sabi niya, Bakit father ang tawag sa inyo? Di nga ba, sabi sa Biblia, Do not call anyone father on earth. You have but one Father in heaven. Buti sa amin ang tawag namin sa aming pinuno ay pastor. No? Kasi ang tingin sa amin ay tupa. At nakakita ako ng opening. So ang sabi ko sa kanya, so ikaw ay tupa. Naniniwala kang ikaw ay tupa. Kasi mukha kang tupa. Sabi ko sa amin. Ang then sabi niya, huwag mo namang i-interpret na napaka-literal father. Sabi niya. At din yun, sabi ko sa kanya, huwag mo din interpret na literal yung verse ng Bible na yan na sinasabi, Call no one on earth your father, you have but one father in heaven. Sa isang community, ang tawag mo sa pinuno ay father din, hindi nga ba? Na halimbawa sa isang munisipyo, sa isang bayan, sasabihin mong ang mayor ay tatay ng bayan na yan. Na halimbawa sa probinsya, sasabihin natin, na ang governor ang tatay ng bayan na yan. Ginagamit natin ang word na tatay. Father of this town, father of this province. Ngayon, sa gospel ngayon, sa ating context ng gospel ngayon, ay sinasabi, Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. So kami ay tinatawag din spiritual fathers. Hindi nga ba ang isang pari ang head ng Christian community doon sa isang parokya? Gaya nga nang sinabi ko sa iyo kanina, kung ang mayor ang tatay ng bayan sa isang parish naman, ang tawag doon sa pari ay spiritual father. Kasi kayong lahat ay spiritual children belonging to a certain parish. Pero kung titignan natin, ang konteks ng ebanghelyong ito ay hindi lamang iyan. Kundi before that, may isa pang kataga. 
As for you, do not be called rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. No? Wag mong tawagin teacher ang isang nagtiteach. Kasi nga, tayong lahat ay magkakapatid. Isa lang ang iyong teacher. So pag halimbawa na sa loob ka ng classroom, at nagtuturo yung, 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 yung teacher, na halimbawa ang pangalan niyong yung teacher ay, ay Maria, tapos sasabihin niya, class, do you understand? Ang sasabihin mo, yes, Maria. Hindi, di ba? Maria, can I go out? Maria, sinuntok ako ni ganito, ganyan. Hindi, kasi sa ating mga Pilipino, napaka-importante sa atin ang pagrespeto sa mga elders natin. So halimbawa, do not call you, no one on earth your father. Anong tawag mo sa tatay mo? Sasabihin mo siya sa pangalan niya, Mario. Hindi po, di ba? Ginagamit natin ang word na tatay, ang father, sa ating mga magulang din. Ano ba ang Tagalog ng father? Ama. Ilocano, ama din. Ama, ken ina. Na tinatawag nating tatang, ken nanang. Anya nga rod, awagam isuda itinaganda. Tatawag mo sila sa pangalan nila? Hindi. No, baka papaluin ka na nila ng, ng malala kapag tinawag mo sila sa kanilang mga pangalan. Ito yung mga titles na ibinibigay natin bilang pagrespeto sa ating nakakatanda. Especially our father. Yung mga tatay natin. Na halimbawa pag grandfather, tatawagin mo yung lolo mo sa pangalan niya? Kasi hindi mo siya tatawaging father? Hindi. No? Ito yung mga titles noong kapanahonan kasi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na sobrang inabuso. Sinasabi nila, dito mga pariseyo, mga eskriba, chief elders, chief priests, na sila yung pinakamataas sa lipunan. Because they have assumed the chair of Moses. Galing sila sa linya ni Moses. Nagpakadalubhasa sila sa lahat ng mga batas na ibinigay sa kanila ng mga profeta. At ito lamang ang kanilang gagawin. Pag-aralan ang mga batas at ito yung kanilang way of judgment na sa mga tao. Na sobrang literal, sobrang, sobrang legalistic na ang mga parisay yung ito. At parang hindi na makahinga ang mga tao dahil lahat ay may batas. Batas ng pamamahinga, batas ng pagtatrabaho, batas ng pagtulog, batas ng pagkain. Ang daming mga batas na kung minsan ang mga tao ay hindi na makahinga. Na para bang sinasabing sa pagkalegalistik nila ay nakalimutan na na mauuna dapat ang concern, ang pagmamahal, ang pagsaserve sa mga tao instead of these laws na ibinibigay, ipinapatong ng mga pariseyo at eskriba. And they call themselves master of the law. They call themselves teacher. They call themselves fathers. At ito ang sinasabi ngayon ni Jesus sa ating Ebanghelyo. Do not be called master like them because you have one master, the Christ. Do not be called teacher like them kasi ang teacher, kung ano ang itinuturo, dapat isinasabuhay. Pero sila, hindi nila sinasabuhay ang kanilang mga gawain. Pinapatong nila at pinapasa lang nila. Teacher sila dahil alam nila ang lahat ng bagay. Well, sasabihin natin, sundin natin mga tinuturo nila, pero hindi ang mga, ex- mga, mga examples nila. Do not call them father na sinasabi nila. Kasi nga, fina- ang, ang father dapat siya yung nag- naglilid. Yung father, hindi nga ba kung yung father ng tahanan siya yung nagbibigay ng lahat para sa kanyang pamilya. Pero itong mga to, hindi man lang sila magbanat ng buto para sa kanilang nasasakupan, kundi utos ng utos, batas, utos, at ang mga tao, gaya nga ng sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, ay wala ng kalayaan na kahit siguro pamamahinga ay may batas pa rin sa kanilang pamamahinga. Mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, the gospel is teaching us today na mas importante nawa ang pagsisilbi sa ating kapwa kesa sa mga honors o di kaya mga titles sa ating mga pangalan. Na kung minsan gusto natin ang daming karugtong ang ating mga pangalan. Honorable, Your Excellence, Your Eminence. Tapos dito sa ating pangalan, ang daming dugtong-dugtong, MA, Doctorate, at kung ano-ano pa man. Pero ang sinasabit ngayon ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo, kung ano man sana ang narating mo, kung ano man sana ang posisyon mo, ay gagamitin mo ito para sa pagsisilbi. Gagamitin mo ito para tulungang umunlad din ang pumumuhay ng iyong kapwa-tao. Huwag mong gawitin ang, ang, ang mga ang mga pangalan na ito, huwag mong gamitin ang mga titulong ito at huwag na huwag mong gagamitin ang posisyon mo para alipinin ang iyong kapwa-tao. Bagkus, gamitin mo ang iyong posisyon, ang iyong kaalaman, ang iyong title 
sa pagtulong sa iyong kapwa-tao at nang sa gayon makikita ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na isinabuhay mo nga ang pagtuturo niya. Here comes Jesus. He is the good teacher. He is the good master. At ang ating Diyos Ama, masyadong nagpakumbaba ang anak niyang ito para sa ating lahat. Ang kanyang pagpapakumbaba nawa ang magturo sa atin kung paano din ang magpapakumbaba. Sa ating pagpapakumbaba, we realize that there is someone greater than us. Kasi kung wala na tayong pagpapakumbaba, ang tingin na natin sa ating mga sarili ay Diyos dito sa lupa, na wala tayong kailangan. But then we realize we need each other to survive. Hinding-hindi ka mabubuhay kung ikaw lamang ang tao sa lupa. Kailangan din natin ang ating mga kapatid, lalong-lalo na sa ating buhay pananampalataya. In this Mass, therefore, my dear friends, we ask the grace of God to shower us His blessing that He may give us a humble heart. It takes a lot of humility to accept that we need something, we need someone, that, we, that there is someone greater than us, someone we can call, we can call God. Please stand. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. That our church, let us play humbly, humbly, let us humbly pray to the Father and ask Him for the grace to recognize and serve Him in our brothers and sisters without counting the cost. Let our response be, Father, hear our prayer. Father, hear our prayer. That our church leaders may continue to be faithful witness of God's kingdom of love, justice, and peace by renouncing worldly entitlements and privileges, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. That our government leaders set aside personal gain and interest and work together for healing and renewal in our country, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. That those who are subject to public ridicule and those who are suffer emotional and physical pain because of racial and religious discrimination may find comfort and strength through the support and care of their community and their loved ones, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. That victims of, Christ, of crime find strength and healing in God's through the love and compassion of people around them, and that they may learn to forgive those who have caused them pain, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concern of our community, those who are in need of our prayers, of our personal intentions. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. Father, be attentive to our prayers. Help us to reach out to all our brothers and sisters and serve them with faithfulness and love. May our hearts be open to their suffering and pain, so that we may draw closer to your heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Tinapay 
ay handog sa'yo, Ama. Ito'y bunga na ang aming gawang iyong pinagpala. Sumasa Nang sa amin maging tunay na katawa at dugo ng iyong Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our good and the good of all His holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might, to the praise of your manifold wisdom, be manifest as the Church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Santo, 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 Ang kadakilaan mo O sana, o sana O sana sa kaitasan O sana, o sana O sana sa kaitasan Pinagpala ang naparirito sa ngalan ng Panginoon O sana, o sana O sana sa kaitaasan O sana, o sana O sana sa kaitaasan Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Sa krus mo at pagkabuhay Kami tinubuhos mong tunay O ang Jesus naming mahal Iligtas mo kami hing tanan O ang Jesus Naming mahal ngayon at magpakailanman. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Sa tukso, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Sapagkat sa iyo ang kaharian, kapayarihan at kapurihan, ngayon at magpakailanman, ngayon at magpakailanman. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Nor taste, nor touch 
be credit hearing only Jewish trust secure. I believe for God the Son has said it, word of life forever shall endure. Heathen gods devoutly I adore you. Truly presence underneath his veils. Oh, my heart subdues itself before you. Sins that all before you fains and fails. On the cross was veiled your Godhead splendor. Here your manhood lies hidden too. And to both alike my faith I render. And thus to the contrite if I sue. Hidden God, devoutly I adore you. Truly present underneath this veils. All my heart subdues itself before you. Since it all before you faints and fails. Though I look not on your wounds like Thomas, you my Lord and you my God I call. Make me more and more believe your promise. Hope in you and love you over all. Heathen God, devoutly I adore you. Truly present underneath his veils. Oh, my heart subdues itself before you. Sins it all before you faints and fails. Hidden God, devoutly I adore. Sa pag-ibig ay ka 
pues Dedica Jesús Ante na pa'y Nang buhay binasbasan Hinati tiniala sa salong walang hanggan at pagsasalong walang hanggan Please stand. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. We will now have the second basket collection for the construction of the Basilica of Our Lady of Piat. Those who wish to give more may give your donations at the Paris office. Thank you. Reminder lang po sa lahat po ng mga nagpapables ng mga sasakyan, especially po sa, sa mga dayo po, no? May mga vendors po kasi na nireport sa amin na nagsasabi, hindi beblesan niya ni Father pag hindi kayo mabibili sa amin. No? Uh, hindi po namin kayo inaobliga, wala pong katotohanan yon Ang magpapabless lang po ng sasakyan, ang requirement lang po ay pupunta po kayo dun, then you ask always for a receipt. No? Hingin nyo lagi po ang resibo at hindi namin nire-require, nasa sa inyo na po kung gusto nyong bumili o hindi ng mga religious articles, mga rosaries, yung mga sabit-sabit sa inyong sasakyan. Pero kapag sinabi sa inyo, hindi biblesen yan ni Father kapag hindi kayo bumili sa amin, ay wala pong katotohanan yun. Secondly po, gaya ng nakikita nyo ngayon, under uh, nire-renovate at pinipintahan po ang ating ceiling. At sa paghanda po sa 400 years celebration ng pagtatransfer po ni Our Lady of Piat mula sa sa Old Church of Santo Domingo, papunta po dito sa kanyang shrines sa December 26. Let us be generous po para matapos po natin ang proyektong ito before po ng araw na yan. Thank you very much po sa inyong lahat.
Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May He let His face shine upon you and show you His mercy. Amen. May He turn His countenance towards you and give you His peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit may come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please kneel. Let us now pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Deign, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.